got a hot dog roasting. Got my automatic hot dog roaster there. I cut this uh, branch off earlier. It's a uh, maple branch, so it's better than what I'm used to in Florida. I just get what I can, but, but got a nice fire going. I just landed and I am trying to make my way through the Atlanta traffic. So, into the wilderness. Everybody, um, day one here. I'm at Wildcat Creek Campground in Georgia. Uh, I guess it's near Dawsonville. Um, got here last night about 9 o'clock. It was dark. And there are some people camping over that way. Actually, over there. But, uh, yeah, I, I camped in a different site that was closer to them last night. And since I got here after dark, uh, you know, when you get in the woods, some when you get to a place after dark, at least for me, it's like it's a little bit, uh, a little bit unnerving, I guess, because I don't do it too often. But, uh, so it was nice to have people nearby, but I moved my site this morning. Uh, and they are nice people, not too loud over there, but I wanted to be have a little bit of a little bit more solitude, so I moved my site here, and you can see them through the trees over there. But uh, you know, a little, I think a little bit more. It's close to the road over here, but. At least I'm not camping too close to anybody. Just met with a guy that drove by. His name is Bob, and he's actually from Northeast Ohio, just like me. But he's lived down here. He's lived in the uh, Dawsonville, Georgia, since 1986. But he was he was coming down here to fish, and he was telling me that um, about two weeks ago he was here by himself. And he saw about a, a 400 pound black bear getting into the trash right here, uh, right there. <laughs> and uh, I was like, ah, oh, great. I didn't really need to hear that, but uh, I think we'll be all right. But the bears are out here. Oh, hey everybody. So finally got out of my campsite I set up my camp I'll show you that later but uh, I went on a hike and I am not used to this I first of all I live in Florida I think there's like two hills there that are a hundred feet high but uh, <laughs> I'm not used to it but I am enjoying it I do feel alive so that's what it's all about and uh, I've met some cool people so far camping around the same area that I'm camping but let me show you the trail real quick this is it's just it's basically like a little jeep trail so far that's where I came from and this is where I'm about to go and hopefully I'll see some cool things No bears though. I don't need to see any bears. I've seen them before. So finally, I've come to a place in the trail where it's not like a little road. It's actually like a little trail. I'll show you. That's where I came from. That's where I'm going. And I'm about to cross a creek, so that will be nice. Might be Wildcat Creek. I don't know. Yeah, I don't really, I don't have a map with me. Well, I don't have a good map. But, show you what it looks like. Supposedly there's some waterfalls on this trail, so 
I'll find out. I hear water. This might be my first waterfall. But nonetheless, have a look at it. To uh, sit on here, get a better view of the cascade. So, this is my campsite. Just got done hiking about 3.2 miles or so. My nice, nice little hammock set there, set up there. I set up the tent earlier, mainly just to reserve the campsite to look like, you know, so so nobody comes and bothers because you never know there could be somebody in the tent. So also got the car sitting there, but uh, I think I'll probably last night I slept in the car. I might do the same thing tonight. I don't know. Yeah, this is the same creek that I ate lunch on today. That'll be Wildcat Creek. But I wanted to show this... Uh, contraption, this tent that hangs off the ground. Pretty sweet, huh? Yeah, so I talked to the guy, the guy was over here earlier setting it up, and uh, his name's Rodney, and uh, he was saying that his wife doesn't want to like to sleep on the ground, so they got that, but it, it looks pretty nice. I'd like to look into those. Well, hello everybody. I... Uh... Got up early this morning, like I said, last video, and uh, the plan was to come and look at some uh, waterfalls. Well, I found, I did find one waterfall, it's over that, over yonder, over that way, and, uh, but the problem with, problem with that waterfall is that there's a lot of trees around it, so you can't really see it good. I might go try to climb over next to it a little bit. But you got to be careful because if you do that, what it is is you could fall, and y'all yet you, you don't want to fall because you know that could be the end of you. So you and you and just listen to me, and I'll tell you, you know, some safety tips. Don't fall off waterfalls. Don't get too close. Those rocks are slippery. A lot of people die thinking they forget about how dangerous waterfalls can be. So I'm going to be careful. But I've gone, you know, I've done walked about, you know, probably about two and a half miles. And uh, that's about it. Well, I made it wild, I think, yeah, Wildcat Falls. I'm pretty sure that's what this one's called. It's about 75 feet high. And uh, I was going to turn around back there. This is not the waterfall that I was talking about that was all by, by, surrounded by trees. I didn't go and try to get a better shot of that. I instead decided to go further up the trail, hoping that I could find this waterfall. And it wasn't that much further. And here it is, to show you it.
so I just climbed the uh, 500 and something stairs to the top of Apva Amarcalola Falls. It's a long way down. Beautiful though.